Hey everyone, and welcome back. So now we are going to begin working on our sidebar. So if you've used WordPress before, you know that you can add plugins, or I'm sorry, not plugins, you can add widgets to your sidebar uh, dynamically. So if we wanted, we could add a popular posts, a recent posts, things like that. But in order to allow for that functionality, we need to actually write a bit of code. So the first step that I want to do is, um, let's see how we can clean this up. And what I really need to do here is, uh, let me see, yeah, I can do it shift left. I'll do it manually since I think my recording program is fooling with that. All right, so the first step is I want to turn um, this div with an ID. WordPress would prefer that you keep your unordered, I'm sorry, your sidebar as an unordered list. So here, let's do UL ID, and we're going to change it from secondary to sidebar. Let's come on down to, whoops. Come on down to the end and replace that closing div with closing ul. But now our CSS file is going to be somewhat screwed up. So why don't we do a search and replace? And we're going to um, I'm going to hit Command F to do a search, and we're going to find secondary, and we're going to replace that with sidebar. So I'm going to do this manually one at a time, just in case. So let's replace. Let's do another one. And I'm doing this because we have these other divs called secondary box, if you remember that, and we don't want to change those just yet. So I'm only searching for the secondary. And, oh good, that's all that was there. So let me come back. Now we're going to have some major problems, I think. If I refresh the page, hmm, that's interesting. We're going to have some major validation problems at the very least. Let's go and inspect our HTML into our wrap, into our main section, sidebar, and we have these divs nested within the UL, which does not validate, but we'll take care of that right now. So let's go back to our sidebar, and at the very top, we need to register it so that we can make it dynamic. So what we'll do is we're going to type PHP, and I'm going to say um, if function You'll see this all over the place on, the, on themes. If function exists, dynamic sidebar, um, or not dynamic sidebar. Okay, so we're basically saying uh, if the dynamic sidebar function from WordPress's function page, if that doesn't exist, it probably means they're using an outdated version of WordPress. Or if we cannot use this dynamic sidebar, then we know that, uh, that the user won't be able to add any of those widgets. So we should probably uh, echo something out to them like, um, like you're not using a dynamic sidebar, silly. All right, that looks good. End if, because we had our if statement at the top, so we need to make sure that we end it. So that's fine. So now we can begin working. So what I want to do is we want this all to be dynamic. So let's get pretty much everything here. We want to hold on to that Twitter bird, that little Twitter subscribe section. So let's grab that. And what else? We have our unordered list. We have our function. I think that might be okay for now. So let's save that. I'm going to come back, and this is all going to go away. Syntax error, unexpected Boolean on line six. And of course, I forgot to close out my opening if statement. Let's see if that fixes it. One more time. No, there's something else. Where is it? Oh yeah, of course. Let's put this all on one line. Yeah, I think that works. Refresh the page. Yeah, there we go. So we've gotten rid of everything and it's saying you're not using a dynamic sidebar. So let's go in and we're gonna go into appearance, widgets. 
no sidebars defined. So we're not the full way there yet. We have checked, but we need to actually register our sidebar. So we need to create a new page, functions.php. And when within this, we're just going to add just a little bit of uh, PHP. And we'll say if, once again, if function exists, and we're going to write register. Oh, definitely not the time for that. Register sidebar. Then we're going to register it. All right. So if the register sidebar function exists, uh, it's a WordPress function, we're making sure it exists and that it's a current version of WordPress, then let's go ahead and register the sidebar. So if I come back and I press refresh, there we go. And now we have access and we can add lots of widgets. So what do we want to add? Let's add, I know I'm going to want a tag cloud and what else? We could do recent comment. We could do recent posts. And let's put recent posts above it. We can give it a title. Let's say recent posts. Number of posts to show. I think five is fine. Done. And tag cloud. Is there anything? In, um, let's leave that blank for now. Okay. So I'm going to refresh the page. And now it's displaying our sections. Pretty neat. But now we need to style them. It's We've lost all of our styling. So I'm going to go to um, bring this down a little bit. I'm going to press inspect in Firebug and we're going to inspect this little wrapping section. See if I can find it. There should be one. Hmm. Do a little more research. Okay. So the way uh, widgets are added in WordPress is they are added as list items because that's why we use an unordered list for our sidebar. So if I hover over this list item, you see it gave it an ID of recent dash posts. And if you come down, you see the tag cloud, it gave it an ID of tag cloud. That way you can latch onto it and style it. But also take a look, it gave it a class of widget and also widget recent entries. So all of these widgets get a class of widgets. So now we can change that secondary box class that we assigned. We can change it to widget. So let's see how that works. I'm going to edit my CSS right here. And let's go and find secondary box it's right here. And now I'm going to change that to widget. And now can you see it's already being changed. So change that one, widget. And are there any others? Photos, we're not even going to have photos there, so I can get rid of that. Because if you remember, that was for the static section. So always do plenty of cleanup. And once again, I'm gonna change this all to widget. Like so. We no longer even have a popular post section, so I can get rid of all of that. That was just for the static version. And recent entries, get rid of that. Add widget. Okay, so it's still not great. But I'm going to copy that, bring it back, and paste it into our style sheet. Let's continue on. I'm going to open back uh, Firebug. And let's inspect. And how come our H3 tags aren't working? Well, it's because uh, WordPress, they prefer heading two tags rather than heading three. So you can see there for the title. So let's go in and I'm going to change it from widget H3 to widget H2. Ta-da! So now we pretty much have what we originally started with, with very little effort, but now it's dynamic. So we can add anything we want here via the control panel and we don't have to edit one bit of code. Let's refresh the page. Really neat, I think. So we're still a far cry from this, but we will get there. The, uh, the next step is I want to return to our search page and finish that up. So I'll see you in the next lesson.